and I see people posting things, families, wives, children. People post like they're okay. They're struggling with things. It's my birthday, so what? Help me wish my husband birthday, and then what happened? It's our anniversary, so that we do what? Ngina kipanda tu ndege, kidogo tu. Alisha weka status yote. Facebook, Twitter. Ukimuliza ilikuwa pesa ngapi ticket ajui, pesa ya kampuni. Alafu, they take comfort in those comments. Ati beautiful, congratulations, gorgeous. Tell me how much money it has put in your account. Nonsense. I wish the rate at which we were posting personal things huh, would be the same rate we post business. Business. Huh? We encourage each other to do business. Serious things. We post evangelism. Business opportunities. But people post nothing because themselves they are full of what? Some of us have learned to move whether there is a like or so like. People comment, say all manner of stuff. We don't care. We don't know. You have a problem. Go deal with your problem. I don't need to validate myself on social media. So what are you getting from Facebook? You know, you cannot compare the Bible and what? Facebook. They don't address the same thing. They don't. And if there are things the devil has hooked us into so that to distract us from God, the social what? Social media. It has given you a false perception of what life is all about. And I see people posting things, families, wives, children. People post like they're okay. Eh? Until everyone says, I want to be like so and so. Ngoja shetani ya kuchafue. Awani wale watu tunonangapale Facebook wako tupo. Kumbe. Kumbe ni kubaya. People, people are on Facebook for validation. There's something missing in, in their life. They're struggling with things. Not everyone, I'm saying most of us want validation. It's my birthday, so what? Help me wish my husband a birthday, and then what happened? It's our anniversary, so that we do what? I wish the rate at which we were posting personal things huh, would be the same rate we post business. Business. Huh? We encourage each other to do business. Serious things. Uh, Tunaenda crusade, tunataka press. We post evangelism, business opportunities. But people post nothing because themselves they are full of what? Then you find a good Adventist girl gone to, gone to a studio with, with, with a dress that when she's in church, she covers with a lace. But in the studio, when she sits on that seat, all her thighs are out. I love Nasema, niambie ni kid. Alafu, they take comfort in those comments. Ati beautiful, congratulations, gorgeous. Tell me how much money it has put in your account. Nonsense. Sai tunalia economy mbaya. Wako wana pesa ya kupeleka watoto shoot. Mutu wako na pesa ya kuenda na huko. Na ukiuliza ye. Friends, there's a difference between a producer and a consumer. An employer and an employee. And most of people who do those things are actually employees and consumers. Because when you are a producer, you have no time for those kinds of things. Busy. Busy. In fact, you don't care who likes you and who hates you. You move. Some of us have learned to move whether there is a like or so like. People comment, say all manner of stuff. We don't care. We don't know. You have a problem. Go deal with your problem. I 
don't need to validate myself on social media. Live a quiet, quiet life. Mungina kipanda tu ndege kidogo tu. Na ni jambo ah watu watas. Kandege tu kadogo. 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 Alisha weka status yote. Facebook, Twitter. Ukimuuliza ilikuwa pesa ngapi ticket ajui pesa ya kampuni. Imagine all this energy we used it to evangelize on Facebook. Real testimonies of what God is doing in our lives. How many people would we change on social media? So many. But because we post our emptiness with a desire to be validated and then we are so dry and thirsty and empty in the matters of who? God. And then someone says, me I can't even read the Bible. And four straight hours just responding to things on what? Facebook, Twitter. Da -da -da -da. Other people's lives. Talk about men addicted to Facebook than the Bible. Why men? Anyone who's addicted. Why men? Anyone can fall a victim of this addiction. I've seen women employing house girls just to have time on what? Facebook. Anyone? I guess this is a woman complaining. Either the husband has too much time on Facebook than on her. So she would rather, she would rather have her hooked on the Bible than what? Facebook. Yes. Ukiona uko na challenge that wants to engage your mind creatively, analytically. Una, ay, hiyo ni stress. Pacha niende nikatembea hapa nje. Anything that just want to tax your mind a little bit. That would, would require your creativity, your analytical beat, you know? Everyone switches off. We are used to people thinking for us. I ask, it is because our mind is packed with a lot of garbage. Fed with nonsense. There is a wisdom that only heavens can give. The fear of the Lord. It's the beginning of what? I tell you, when you're in love with the Lord, you can never fail to be a thinker. The wisdom you have is not of this earth. The wisdom you have is heavenly. There is no child of God deeply immersed in Christ that is not a thinker. No child of God. But when you realize you have no time for God, you can never be a thinker. You are full of drama. Always. Always arguing even things that cannot be, should not be argued. Things that shouldn't be argued. Very small things. Kusuka uzi ni mbaya, toa. I know you want an okay from me. Me, I'll not give you an okay. I said, just try look the way the Lord did what? I want us to imagine we are going to heaven. Tell me who's going to heaven now, uzi. I'm a dreadlocks. Yani yu siku imefika, Kristo wa mekuja kutuchukua. When someone dies, do they, do they, are they buried with those things? Oh my God, this is Legrand. Legrand is making it happen.